is fine. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, well, you know, one of the uh, one of the immediate application or implication of uh, black hole thermodynamics is uh, black hole information uh, paradox. You know, uh, and there are lots of uh, uh, quantum way you know try to solve this uh, information paradox. Uh, but here, you know, I will introduce a very short paper we just uh, we just published. You know, uh, about uh, you know based on a classical way. Uh, to uh, give some potential, you know, solution uh, to this question, you know, how 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 you how one may re recover information, you know, from uh, evaporating black holes. Uh, of course, the uh, original evaporating should be uh, caused by Hawking radiation, which is a quantum effect, uh, and the cause is uh, a Professor Sam Brunton and uh, Sir Um you know, classically a black hole, you know, a, sim a very simple definition is, you know, nothing can escape, you know, if you don't consider Hawking radiation. Uh, and uh, the no hair theorem claim, you know, uh, 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 a stationary black hole, you know, can always be described by three very simple, you know, uh, physics parameter, which is the mass and the electric charge and the angular momentum of the black hole. And uh, all the other, you know, uh, properties of the black hole, like uh, the surface gravity of the black hole or, or the horizon area of the black hole can, can be expressed into this three parameter. Uh, this is some very uh, basic things. And, uh, uh, and then, you know, um, people discover black hole are thermal, you know. Uh, the first people um, try to study this maybe is, uh, you know, Jake uh, Bacon's uh, where, you know, uh, John Wheeler asked him, you know, about the question, that how, what will happen if you throw a cup of tea into a black hole. Uh, and after some study, you know, Bekenstein um, claim or conjecture that, you know, black hole should have an entropy which uh, proportional to its uh, horizon area. Uh, and, uh, you know, then uh, short after this, you know, Burning Hart and Hawking find the follows of black hole mechanics. Um, but, you know, uh, until, until, uh, until, you know, Burning Hart and Hart. Hawking discover the follows of black hole thermodynamics, you know. Uh, this is still an analog. The follows of black hole thermodynamics, thermodynamics claim, you know, uh, you have a surface gravity, which is a constant for stationary black hole, which is like the uh, temperature. And you have a first law, you have a second law, and you have a third law, you know. Uh, but until now, you know, it's just an analog, which uh, which seems, you know, the surface gravity may correspond to the temperature or related to the temperature. Or, and, you know, the uh, horizon area may relate to the entropy. Uh, this become a, you know, more serious question when Hawking, uh, find Hawking radiation. He study, you know, the uh, evolve of a quantum field, you know, in a curved space time uh, with, uh, with a black hole. And uh, he found, you know, uh, you will find the, uh, uh, radiation. You will find the black hole is radiate at a temperature which, which is you know capital over two pi. Uh, uh, but you know that's one year after he published uh, you know the this this very influenced the paper. Uh, he found you know uh, because the no hair theorem you know which claim you know a stationary black hole uh, should be described by some very simple you know uh, quantity of a black hole. So the radiation could be a, a very pure, you know, thermal radiation, which contain very tiny, you know, information about the original uh, matter which collapsing into the black hole. Uh, so when the when the when a black hole, you know, is really is is totally radiated away, you know, uh, nothing will left, and uh, you know, all the information uh, that about the matter, you know, that collapsing into the black hole is lost. This is, you know, the if a black hole information paradox. And, uh, um, you know, lots of people use quantum aspect like, uh, like quantum entanglement, uh, which claim, you know, the two particles, one go to infinity and the one fall into the black hole are entangled with each other. Uh, or some other like a, like a, a quantum field theory, you know, to, to answer this question. Uh, but there is still not a, you know, totally agree solution. And uh, here, you know, we, we try to uh, give a potential you know, uh, solution or contribution to this question based on some very classical aspect or classical 
uh, method, you know. Uh, before introduce our way, uh, I will introduce you know the Penrose diagram for for some uh, very you know Schwarz, for the Schwarzschild black hole. Uh, in a, in a, in a stationary case, you know for Schwarzschild black hole, the singularity is uh, space like you know, uh, and the horizon you know is uh, uh, and the horizon is now you know. So nothing, you know, which uh, nothing uh, in inside the black hole, you know, can escape the black hole, can go go to the outside the universe. Uh, and you know, when you consider the black hole is evaporating away, you know, uh, for example, by Hawking radiation, uh, that's that's uh, you know, this situation will not change. Um, information can still not uh, uh, escape from the horizon. Uh, seems you know for curl or rotating black hole, for our rotating black hole have a little change, you know, because for rotating black hole, you know the uh, r equals one, you know, is uh, is time lag, and uh, uh, if you connect, you know, two universe, you know, uh, which contain a curl black hole, you know, uh, information can go from one universe, you know, to the other universe. This is a null radiation, you know, which can go to another universe. Uh, but you know, if you if you stay in our universe, uh, you still have the information loss problem because it, it seems you know the information can only go to uh, the other universe, which meaning within our present universe we still have this uh, information paradox problem. Um, the first people try to uh, use you know uh, the classical way uh, to uh, to give some potential solution to this question is. Uh, on Prick and uh, Welzek. Uh, they study charged the uh, white hole. In their paper, you know, they claim they study charged the black hole, but they make a small mistake. I will talk about this a little later. Uh, in fact, they are studying charged the uh, white hole and uh, they, they consider the black hole is, eva is evaporating and they don't care you know, uh, what caused uh, this evaporating. Of course, you cannot say you know, it's because Hawking radiation. So the mass uh, of the black hole or the charge of the black hole is changing with time. And after some calculation, they found, uh, they proved that, you know, uh, the black hole horizon, you know, when the black hole began to uh, radiate it or to, evap to, uh, to evaporate, you know, the black hole horizon will, will become time-like and the uh, black hole singularity will also become time-like. Uh, so the matter, if since the horizon is time like this, meaning uh, information or matter following a uh, null radiation can go outside the can go out, outside the black hole horizon. This meaning the black hole, uh, you know, the black hole will decreasing with time. And there is a classical, uh, there is a classical. Since the black hole horizon is uh, time like this, means even classical matter can go outside the black hole. Uh, so. Potentially, you know, there is a classical channel you can uh, transform information from the inside of the black hole to the outside of the black hole. And all this is based on, you know, uh, classical calculation. Uh, you just consider, you know, you just uh, assuming the black hole can evaporate. Um, this is a short, you know, proof that uh, uh, the matrix used in the original paper, in fact, is a white hole. This is the matrix used by them, you know. Uh, and uh, uh, this is the metric used by them. And uh, uh, if you calculate, calculate the expansion for the now, uh, now, uh, now vector, you know, outgoing now vector, and uh, this is an ingoing now vector, you will find, you know, uh, the expansion that lo located the parent horizon, in fact, is the ingoing uh, now vector, which means the horizon must be a white hole. Of course, you can also see this, you know, if we are very familiar with the matrix from the manner of sign they use in the, in the matrix. So this is a very small mistake, you know. They may just don't care, don't pay too much attention to this in their pay, original paper. And we want to generalize, you know, this analyze, you know, to uh, rotating charged black hole. Uh, the two reasons, you know, firstly, they, Originally, they in fact would study a white hole. So maybe 
you do the analyze for black hole, things will change. The more important uh, reason is because, you know, uh, in fact, the, the black hole, you know, we can find in, in, uh, in, in astrophysics or in, in the real universe, you know, it's uh, uh, always rotating. Uh, so study rotating black hole must be more closely connected to the real black hole. So we want to generalize, you know, their uh, analyze, you know, to rotating and the chart of the black hole. Uh, this is the uh, matrix we use, you know. And uh, since we, it's, uh, it's a rotating chart, uh, uh, with the uh, type black hole. And since we are assuming the black hole is, is, is evaporating, you know, you know we, we require you know, the mass and the chart and the angular momentum depending on the uh, coordinate time mu. Uh, and uh, to study you know, the two dimensional Penrose diagram you know, for, for this rotating black hole, we restrict the metric to the symmetry you know, axis along you know, theta equals zero. Since theta equals zero, you know, this meaning d theta equals zero and uh, sine theta will equal zero. Uh, if you look at equation one, you will find, you know, since sense theta equals zero, all this term will vanish and the theta term will vanish. So this matrix, uh, you know, on this axis or close this uh, axis will reduce to something like this. And, and one can pull, you know, the mu out. And, you know, in fact, from here, you will already find, you know, this is quite like the double null coordinate. So, uh, Without loose generative, you know, we assuming you know, uh, MQ and uh, the angular momentum A is proportional to each other and uh, li and the, and the uh, linear functions of uh, the time coordinate mu. Uh, so the mass will change with the time, you know, by this function. And the mu, you know, dis describe, you know, uh, mu mu uh, sorry, this is U. Uh, mu will describe, you know, the uh, decreasing, you know rate of the black hole. Uh, when this is big, you know, it's decreasing very quickly. Uh, and uh, all the other parameters that's proportional to the mass of the black hole. Uh, then, you know, equation two, this is equation two. What we have, we have pulled the mu out. Equation two uh, will be right into, you know, something like this. We just insert this, you know, uh, relation into the equation. We do nothing from here. And uh, and then we write this into a double null coordinates. Uh, but you know here you don't know what is the function. You know, the pre-function j mu r is. We just know you know there's a function. There's a relation you know, uh, between these functions. So uh, we need to calculate what j mu look like. Uh, there's a OLA relation provide a solution for this question and. Uh, so you can calculate it out based on all our, all our relation uh, with, you know, J mu R equals to uh, uh, this finally. And uh, then, you know, from equation six and seven, uh, you can find the relation, you know, uh, you, can, you can express way the parameter, the coordinate parameter uh, way into partial way partial R and uh, mu tutor. Uh, from here, you can see, you know, the power in the, uh, R, you know, function is in R cube. Uh, this means, you know, uh, maximally there could be three singularity, you know, for this new coordinate system. Uh, so a complete, you know, coordinate may be obtained by connected, uh, you know, different patch of the coordinates uh, based on, you know, uh, how many singularity you, you have, you know, it's depending on this parameter value, you know. Uh, we have detailed analyzing our paper, but I will not introduce here. And uh, so now you have the double now coordinate. And uh, we first study, you know, the space time surrounding R equals zero. I may, uh, I may emphasize, you know, R equals zero is not the singularity for the uh, rotating black hole. You know, this is, this would be clear for everyone. And uh, then, you know, we, 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 we start, you know, the uh, DS square, you know, surrounding R equals zero, we find, you know, when R approach zero, uh, this will always be minus, which means this is a time-like pace or time-like congruence, you know, uh, 
uh, around in r equals zero. So, uh, but the more important, in fact, is the horizon. You know, what what uh, what will the horizon look like? Is uh, it is you know time like or it is uh, now or something or, or some other things. So uh, then we try to study you know what the horizon you know look like uh, look like at least uh, rounding the axis you know say if equal zero. Uh, we first define a function you know as uh, f mu r equals uh, this. Uh, uh, you know this is uh, uh, the apparent horizon you know uh, of a rotating black hole. Rotating charged black hole, you know, it's just the m plus and minus, you know, this. So in fact, uh, uh, this is just the the label for the uh, apparent horizon of the black hole uh, for stationary case, you know, for stationary case. So this function equals zero just labels the location of the black hole horizon. Uh, but you know, all all studies time dependent. We study the time de time dependent, uh, uh, you know, charged and rotating black hole. And this is the solution for stationary case. So we need to solve the exact, you know, apparent horizon location. Use the, you know, uh, uh, use the expansion weight, you know, by studying the expansion of the outgoing null vector and the ingoing null vector. Uh, we, after you know some study, we found the apparent horizon for the uh, time dependent case of the rotating and the charged black hole looks looks like this. This is just the Horizon location for when you know the uh, when the space time is stationary, uh, when it is not time dependent, and when we consider the time dependent, you know, in the linear case, we will find there's a parameter mu, as I described uh, as I uh, introduced before. You know, mu describes you know how quickly uh, the black hole evaporating or the evaporating rate of the black hole. So in fact, mu could be very small, you know. Uh, depending on how you, uh, at least at least uh, theoretically, you know, depending on how you choose it, you can it could be very small. In fact, this meaning the shape of the horizon location, uh, we can think you know it could be infinitely small, based on you know uh, how serious you know the black hole depending on time. So we can ignore this term you know, when we do some uh, uh, quantity calculation. So. Uh, and then you know we begin to calculate uh, what's the uh, horizon look like you know is this time like or or now or something or some other things and uh, we need first uh, you know this function f mu equals zero in fact defining a horizon tube you know uh, so and uh, to find the normal of this horizon horizon tube we just uh, uh, take the derivative, you know, uh, the d derivative, you know, for this function, which meaning we have a mu, you know, how this function de depending on mu and the how it depending on r, and we will get a vector, you know, it, it is not depending on the angular part, since we are studying a symmetry, you know, axis. So after we have this vector, we can study, you know, its, uh, uh, its magnitude, and finally we will find that it is an expression like this, uh, this is, uh, you know, this uh, this part is always smaller than one, and this is minus one. So this meaning this part will always be minus. But mu, you know, is the evaporating rate, which is a minus, uh, which is a minus scalar. So this meaning this whole term is always positive. Uh, so the vector, you know, normal to the horizon tube is always a, it's always a space like this meaning. Yeah, uh, it's, it is uh, the normal vector of the horizon tube is always space like This meaning the horizon tube is always time like So, uh, yeah, it's the horizon tube at least, uh, you know, around you know, or nearly the axis, you know, theta equals zero is, must be uh, time like So, uh, the summary of our, you know, technical result is, you know, the region immediate, immediately surrounding R equals zero is time like so this part, you know, uh, is time lag. And uh, the apparent horizon at uh, theta equals zero is also time lag. Oh, in fact, you know, our proof, you know, is both is for both, you know, the inner apparent horizon and the outer apparent horizon is both true. Of course, we only, we care more about for the outside, you know, uh, apparent horizon. So 
since the uh, horizon is a uh, time like node, this meaning if you have if you have some matter or some information follow some null radiation, uh, they can uh, escape a uh, evaporating black hole. So when the black hole begin to evaporating, for example, it begin to uh, it begin to uh, evaporate because of the Hawking radiation. Then you know the horizon will become time lag, and uh, in fact, more matter you know follow a null uh, radiation or or, or or a path which is similar to a null you know path can escape the black hole. We think uh, all results show this, and uh, uh, yeah. So this is some you know imp implication of this uh, technical result. The first one is just you know. It seems there there could be at least one classical channel, you know, and uh, we guess you know generalize to more, you know, to other places maybe uh, should also be possible and easy, uh, through which you know information can escape and uh, you know, uh, information can also recover, you know, from from this channel, and uh, this also meaning you know black hole maybe shrinks uh, faster than you know purely predicted by Hawking radiation. Um, because you know there there will be some additional outflow you know which uh, which could be associated uh, with matter, and uh, the other you know uh, the other important thing we may point out is you know is uh, there's a classical channel and uh, um, matter you know or information may escape from this classical channel seems, and you know all this matter or information. It's not thermal. We don't require because this is not based on black hole, uh, some then some then uh, based on the laws of black hole some thermodynamics. So, in fact, this information you know could be uh, not thermal. You know, it's just be normal matters. You know, uh, seems you know seems like this. And uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, the result of our short paper. Uh, okay, thanks. Okay, very good, Ji Wei. Very uh -huh. clear talk, by the way. So we have some time Thanks. for questions. Again, just switch on your microphone and ask the question. No questions. Okay, I have I have a very short question. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. You, you use the concept of horizon tube. Oh, yeah. Usually, yeah. usually this is what uh, what people understand until horizon tube is the horizon which evolves in time. Uh -huh. Which is in the case of apparent horizons in cosmological models where you have an, an a, a explicit dependence on time. What's in your case? The the the, the coordinate which generates this tube? Uh, it seems, you know, we, we are more like, you know, calc uh, it's more like we are calculated, uh, you know, line in a horizon tube, which is uh, labeled by, you know, theta equals zero. Uh -huh. and, uh, uh, and, you know, it's based on our double null coordinates, you know, seems. I'm not sure whether I answer your question. <laughs> yeah, I, I, this is some, somehow I don't understand the, the idea of the tube here. You see? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. So, so maybe can I have a short question? Uh -huh. Sure. Uh, sure. Yeah. So, so, so you know, I, I like this as a classical model, you know, to, 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 to explaining this, this problem. But of course, um, I guess it's just more a comment, but, but, but you know, this, this seems just, just as a phenomenological model, but, but as far as I know, there is no theory which would support this model, right? So there's no, like, it, it cannot be a theory of quantum gravity, or is it? Is it some kind of theory of quantum gravity which predicts this model? Uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm not, uh, I don't think so. I don't think uh, there's any uh, quantum gravity theory to support this, uh, this model, I guess. It's just based on maybe general relativity, I guess. Most of the calculation. Yeah, but the general relativity predicts a different picture, right? And so you have to start departing from general relativity very soon. Um, and it's not even in the quantum regime, right? So I'm, I'm a bit puzzled. I, I like the model, but, but it just seems like it's, 
it's a model designed to explain, but but it doesn't come from anywhere. Uh, 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 the, the effect, you know, that your class, you know, black hole cannot evaporate, you know, uh, and the, you know, the effect, in fact, you are assuming a black hole is evaporating is uh, some quantum effect, in fact. That seems, you know, uh, we just uh, assume, you know, uh, based on some, you know, potential quantum gravity theory, you know, black hole can evaporate, you know. But because, you know, even until now, you know, we don't have a satisfying, you know, quantum gravity theory, you know, so, but, uh, you know, in a semi-classical uh, quantum gravity, which, you know, when you merge, you know, uh, quantum field theory or quantum mechanics with, uh, with general activity to study black hole, you know, you, it seems, you know, uh, like Hawking discovered, you know, uh, black hole can radiate a things away or radiate a uh, uh, Hawking radiation. So, yeah, but uh, uh, maybe, you know, someday when people find a uh, uh, really, you know, quantum theory of gravity, they, they will, you know, naturally solve this question or explain this. But uh, yeah, I, I know this is not a, not a final, you know, theory or final result. It's still far from that. Yeah, that's fair enough. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, right. Someday, someday, somebody will do that. You'll find the quantum theory of gravity. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> very <well> good. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Jiwei. Thank you. Thank so, you.